Greetings. This is the uh, fourth day of a very interesting experiment using styrofoam trays to st start seeds. Some of the seeds that fell from the styrofoam tray uh, began growing very quickly. These these are our, uh, our control group. You can see that they also um, have quite good growth. The ones that is most of most concern, though, are the ones that did not fall from the tray. And you can see that the seeds were pressed in far too deeply and far too strongly so that the plants themselves did not fall from the um, styrofoam before they began to get wedged in or before their growth pattern basically um, restricted them to that one place and did not anticipate of course that the plants themselves would seek out light in their own direction which of course is phototrophism at its finest and what I had hoped and anticipated was that the plant itself would go up towards the light but the plant found it too hard to go up and so went around which is um, of course life doing its thing. So this was a very interesting experiment. I think it has some potential if the whole system is modified and maybe using some sort of uh, cotton substrate in the styrofoam or with the styrofoam to uh, provide the hydroponic environment uh, for the seeds because they did begin to seed uh, within 18 hours. The watercress within 18 hours, the arugula within eight, uh, 24 hours, and the basil. Actually all the basil started putting out seeds. That's the center one here. The basil began seeding within 48 hours to 72 hours. Uh, but you'll see very little very little leaf growth because they couldn't push through the leaves. Here is the same basil here. You can see that they're beginning, just beginning to start now. Uh, that's uh, watercress and that's arugula. No, I'm sorry, this is watercress and that is arugula. Thanks for watching and uh, all you plant people out there, share your, uh, share your experiments in seeding. Thanks.